carrying on. This is the actual bridal path I was talking about, which I thought was back there, but this is it. Look, with the lovely uh, English stone wall. Look at these beautiful beech trees. Look at that. Gorgeous, isn't it? It must be hundreds of years old. And of course, there's a little gate. If you go in there, That'll take you up where I walked two weeks ago, but not from this gate. I walked across the field and up there. So it's, um, just, I'm just doing a bit of extra, actually, which can tag on to the end of uh, the video from two weeks ago. I'm just really upgrading. So what I'm going to do, because I'm not walking up to the butterfly area, um, I'm going up to the main junction up here. So we found out where the loop is. They're going to investigate the, the um, lookout. And uh, I'll stop and have my banana in a minute now. I'll just do this bit. I'm going to stop and take a picture. But before I do, I've just bumped into a really lovely couple. They really look like I've seen them before as well. Um, they come from Cornwall, they're on holiday and they're exploring this, this, they're exploring this beautiful area. I don't know whether my sister Jude actually ever got here. I'd be surprised, but I mean she would have done if she bumped into me a bit more. Uh, look, I would have told her about it. Look at that. You see this wall here? Do you know why it's so significant, this wall? because it's probably part of the Mendip Lodge estate. He had a thousand acres. The Reverend, <coughs> the Reverend Dr. Wally. He had a thousand acres, but you can walk that way as well, look. That'll take you to the ruins. Now the thing is, I'm not doing that today. I haven't got those extra three hours, so it's not on the agenda, but I've taken note of all this. Um, and look at the size of that tree. Aren't you gorgeous? You're absolutely gorgeous. But it says footpath, or is that, or does that say no footpath? Probably no footpath. No, you'd have to go down that way, Sheila, if you want to go and explore the ruins more. But this will definitely be a part of that thousand acre estate with these stone walls and everything. Definitely. And they're probably, he had up to like quite a few follies. I can't remember how many, but 10 or 15 within the estate. So I expect there's some of them in there. You know, every time I come out, I mean, I have moan. I had to deal with a nasty situation the other day with somebody. And this is my healer. When I'm out in places like this, what I've had to tolerate and deal with. And then I come out here and everything's lifted. And my tr these trees, these are the guardians. They heal you. You touch a tree, it fills you with energy. Look at that gorgeous beach. Dominating, and so I hope they don't knock it down because the men have been. Look at the ploughed up, trenched mud. This is a beautiful avenue of trees. And it would have been part of the Do Reverend Dr. Wally's estate. This big wide bridle path would have been used. You can imagine, I can almost hear the old fashioned carriages coming along here. You know, this is what I'm like when I'm out. I get this, this huge imagination. Look, just look at the scene. You know, let's just go down there and, and see it. There's tall, beautiful trees. This is on our doorstep. This is really only about half an hour, 40 minutes away from where I live. It's only that slow because I have to get a bus. And you, it stops and there's traffic jams. 
but you know what? I'm just really enjoying this. There's open fields again now, but I expect people do go in there. You can get in there other ways. But I've, I'm on the restricted time today. But I'm doing a, what I pl I'm doing. Plan A. Plan A is materializing. And I'll be going up through that meadow in a minute. The opposite route to what I did two weeks ago. And it could have been two weeks ago today, actually. I like to go out midweek because it is so quiet. But I'm sure I recognise that woman, you know. They're from Cornwall. Now I wonder what that says. Let's just have a look. Yeah. Do you know what? I am clever, and I really? Look. Mendip Lodge Estate, private woods, no access. I knew this was part of the estate. I knew it was. But of course, Mendip Lodge is a ruin. It was a fantastic country mansion. It had one of the biggest verandas. Um, 75 foot long, I believe it was. And it was, a, 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 I think he was a, he might have been a bit of an eccentric, the chap that built it, or had it built. I mean, he fell in on hard times eventually in his life, but he had a really good time up until the last moment. And, um, I've got some information on him. I have made a few little notes from the last visit, but I do want to do more. But I don't think I'd explore those ruins on my own because there could be dangers within. You know, something could collapse on you, anything. But, uh, yeah. Also, I've got my proper hiking rucksack on which has got more stuff in it. I've got my binoculars, for example. I've got um, my small ones. The main ones were stolen. The main binoculars were stolen. Right, anyway, folks, here we are, junction point, where you're going to have a drink and a banana, Sheila. No pub right away, look. Yeah, this is where I was two weeks ago. At some point in my walk... After I'd been, I'd been to Burrington, I'd been to Burrington Church, and I was now on my way back, back here. So what I'm going to do, there's a sign, and um, what I'm going to do here, because no one can go through here now, they have to go through there. I'm just going to stop and have a drink and a banana. I went that way two weeks ago, before I climbed up on the fort. And uh, is that somebody on a bike? Or is that somebody walking? You have got to be wary of people hiding in bushes, by the way. Just to let you know that I have seen some things over the years when I've walked around here. Um, but anyway, I'm going to turn video. off and take a picture. Camera doesn't seem to want to do videos. This battery must be getting low. But I've just walked the alternative route through the little cops. I just had my bounty, I've had my bounty, I've had some cheese dip, a banana. When I get up here a bit, I'm gonna have my fruit juice, which means taking my coat off, taking my rucksack off again, and getting some more bottles out. In fact, I might, I don't know if there's going to be any more shade. Let me have a look. Oh yeah, there's a bit more shade. <clears throat> so I'm just walking along this lovely little path. This is all leading up to the main hill fort area. Um, and these tall trees do stick out. Lots of dog rows. Lots of lovely dog grass. Some are pink, some are white. And as this is sort of area you don't just want to roam off into because I would, I would have thought snakes could be here, but I don't know if Robero 
has snakes. And I'm, I'm convinced I was bitten by one years ago. I should have gone to hospital, really. But uh, I didn't. I was up camping, I was on a holiday at the time. I don't, well, it bit me quite hard, but I think I hadn't had enough for my own protection to defend me against it. Oh. But I will be going up joining the main area in a minute. But here's a nice little view, look. And like I say, I wouldn't wander into that lot. No. So down on the edge of that those bushes there, that's a that's the lower Dolbury Warren track on the south side of the hill fort. Over there I can see Shoot Shelf Hill, Aerial, Crooks Peak. Right, I'm just going to get, go back in the shade just to get the drink out and then I'm going to follow that path that way rather than hug the hedges. I'm going up, back up a bit, then I'll we'll go from there. Right, so I've emerged from, from the there. copse. Just topped up with water. Check the time, it's 10 to 1. So we've got, if you want to get back for the 4 o'clock, You've got three hours from here. If not, you've got a two hour wait. This is how it is, see? Yeah, lovely, isn't it? Lovely. We're not going through that gate, we're going through the next one. It's baking up by the way. Baking up. And we'll be walking through Rowborough Warren down through there. <coughs> um, eventually. I've eaten so I've got a bit of indigestion just for a minute. I do like to stoke the furnace.